Good morning, good morning to all of my loved ones. It's wonderful to see you all coming on here. I also noticed that the comment slingers are in top form this morning. Barely got the live started before I saw the comments flashing, so we'll see who's the sheriff today. I know who it looks like, but we'll see later on. And anyway, I brought you all to the Maxwell Beach. We're gonna continue today from where we left off um, a couple of days ago when we were up by the Sea Breeze area. Um, the actual Maxwell Beach itself, and we're gonna be walking from what was or we call welcoming as our original name for here, but it is the Barbados Beach Club. We're gonna walk right by Bougainvillea, we're gonna go straight down um, to Sandals, and then we'll do a little bit of Turtle Beach. So we have a lovely walk for you this morning. For any of those that are looking forward to a little stroll, some beach, well, this is what we have planned for you. So before we start off this morning, we did a serenity prayer yesterday at the end, but I actually feel more comfortable with it at the beginning. It starts my day beautifully, so let's do that now. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Your will, not ours, be done. Amen. Okay, you would notice this morning I put up a new cover photo, and that was of my angel sitting on the same beach. And uh, it was actually a photo taken of her sitting on that same tree. So you will see that the erosion is not just in the Worthing area, it's everywhere in the south right now, very high tides. That picture was taken last year, I think it was in June or July. So uh, you know this is how it is today. And this shows you how things have changed somewhat. So this tree was almost completely under sand. Uh, obviously not the very higher spots, but you can see the difference in it in the picture that she was in. I can't even get to the above side because the tide is very full at the moment. Uh, high tide was, I think, around 3 o'clock this morning or so. Some of that was sending, so we're looking at a, a mid to, to low. It's more than mid now. Now I'm going to do a walk from here. I um, just want to say good morning to all of you all and welcome. I, I know we have a newcomer on board this morning. Uh, we will make notes of that later on, but welcome to all those new members to the EMC. Welcome, welcome. This is our family and this is the way we start our lives every day. I'm going to stop here and do a little 360 here. It's um, you know, just an area we can start off with so you can all hear the sounds and we can settle ourselves in. We can mellow out and we can trance out for this morning. Here we go. Don't mind the sargasm. This is a beautiful, beautiful tropical day. I have all my best clothes right now, and that will be my beach shoes, because I know I'm going to do some off-beach walking, and also a pair of baggies. That is formal attire for me. Thank you, God, for letting me live this kind of perfect life. And I'll just to let you know as well that um, we had mentioned before um, in earlier videos about the Bougainvillea taking down the above section. I think it was called Sand Acres, if I remember correctly. Um, that structure was taken down last year and people were a little concerned as to what was going on with it. It is absolutely a beautiful area they're laying out now. Very open, expanse area. And I'll show you in a moment, they've actually have their own vegetable garden. I guess they're providing the vegetables for the restaurant, which I think is perfect. Amazing, and it sends the right message for sure. This is a lovely property. It stretches from way down the other side of um, this point where we're going to cross in a minute and comes right up to this area here. I, I, this is one of the hotels I definitely like a lot. Uh, I know my sister stays here on occasions, so I know that for sure it is something that's really peaceful and relaxing. If not, she would most definitely not stay here. Beautiful, beautiful morning. Um, those of you that have not been here for many years, um, you will notice the outside groin there that was dropped. That was placed out there to catch sand for the sandals and sandals royal. Um, yeah, it's. Uh, Certainly captured some sand. Not sure if that has affected the flow that goes on the coastline, but I, I would imagine that is a possible a possibility. You can do a little walk up here. This is our first section. You can literally walk this entire south coast from Oisins right down. As I said in one of my previous posts, you have about six areas that you come out of the sea. Um, so you would need some slippers and stuff with you, but it's easy to make the walk. What we like to do is, as my angel and myself, is we park the vehicle down in Brandens, which is known as a drill hall, and we catch a ZR up to Oystens, and we start our walk from there. 
it takes about four to five hours depending on how slow you want to do it I did mention a vegetable garden for you as you can see they have the, the corn and etc growing there it's looking great and as you can see it's a beautifully laid out garden offers lots of privacy you could have a lot of um, hedges around the place and there's a small pool up there which you would remember if you know this place from before now this was really no beach at all I remember when I was a kid um, that the sea used to come right up to a Casarina uh, coastline that was here that would have been where you would see one of the remaining Casarina trees standing just behind those coconut trees that's where the sea used to come up to um, right into there so this is all um, started and formed when they dropped the first growing which was done by at that time the half moon beach hotel which is now called turtle beach uh, that started the first building of it but this catchment which was done i don't know i think about five years ago five or six years ago um, this was the formation of this massive beach here another view of the bougainvillea resort as well really really nice spot conditions today are not the greatest because of the sargasm but look beyond that I know that you experienced travelers will be able to do that for sure those of you that may be seeing this video that have never come here in the past please have a look up on my site I have some amazing shots up there um, I have tons of shots if you're a friend of mine you will not run out of things to view the last time I looked at um, Facebook I had approaching 10,000 photos on Facebook itself it has to download in four sections now it is such a massive thing and I also would uh, have a lot of videos as well some of them are shots of here some are from all over the Caribbean and some are also from Canada as well where my lady is from where I love to go not being biased of course <laughs> well we gotta keep this honest of course I'm biased that's where my heart is and you know you'll notice that all of the sargasm or majority of it here is a dark dark color which means this is an old float that's coming in from up the coastline. Um, we don't see the bright, the bright, I would say, um, browns or the high, higher greens, which would be associated with a fresh float. Lots of it here in the shore break, as you can see. But as you can also see, there are tons of fibers, which indicate that this is old moss that's breaking, sorry, old weed that's breaking down, uh, coming down the coastline. So the coastline will get this here um, and it will take approximately two or three weeks to clear up to give us back our blue waters. We saw this last year as well too. This is something we see every year. This is a seasonal thing. It's not a, a, any reason for alarm or concern. This is how it has been. And this is actually a fairly good year so far. So let's hope this is the last of its float coming in. I'm gonna do a little walk with you because you know I like you all to experience what I'm experiencing. But I'll just give you a quick scan of this hotel from this viewpoint. love to see you all exchanging all of your greetings and love that's what this is all about that's what our mornings are about you know it started out being just bringing Barbados it has gone beyond that now Barbados is obviously our backdrop and Barbados is obviously enjoyed but we have a family that share a life together and that's how we go day by day now it's become a part of my life on a Sunday I feel a little bit lost but then I use Sundays for my own reflection and for my own well-being for those of you that are not familiar, Sunday is a rest day, so today and tomorrow, and then we're going to take a little rest, take a little reflection, thank God for our, everything that we've enjoyed in the week. Have 61 people on board, this is a normal number we're seeing now in the 60s, which is amazing. Good morning, sir. Where are you going? So it's a beautiful, beautiful morning. Okay, we're coming up to the sandals in a moment. You can see uh, there have two two uh, structures here. One is called Sandals Royal. One is called Sandals Barbados. I think it's the correct term for that one. They've also just built a massive block on the land side of these here, um, and just where the Dover Woods, the western end of where the Dover Woods is located. Um, so this this entire place is going to be a hive of activity real soon when all the restrictions are lifted. It's a really nice layout, I must say. We've been in here um, for a ceremony that they had held here and the resort is beautiful. The time we went in was a night time and the lights and neon lights and stuff that are in here are really impressive. So we're really walking on New Beach. Uh, six years ago, you would not have been anywhere out here. You would have been actually behind that coconut line 
in that general area. That's where you would have been walking. So we have a beautiful beach here. I'm not sure of what, how, as I said before, how this impacts further down the coast. I'm sure it does, because if sand was not here and it's now being caught here, this would impact some of the coastline. But we have a lot of groins that have been laid all along the south coast that have built beaches. You can look at Miami Beach, never existed. See so you hit that cliff. You look at here, then you can look at Dover Beach. Dover Beach was a slither of beach. Uh, at its best time, it was maybe 20, 25 feet wide. It is now a massive beach. And then we can look at other beaches as well. So, not sure if, if the placement of the groins was a good thing or not a good thing. We have some magnificent beaches. And you know, we'll see how it goes. Nature will play its course. I'm gonna be grateful for whatever I have here because it's a beautiful island. And this is <laughs> an international class beach. There is no question about that. Beautiful, beautiful beach. As you can see, we're having a rise of the sun now, the promises of a new day, new slates, people. You're allowed to write all over these now. Just make sure that you um, have a pencil. If you make a mistake, you can erase it and move on. So tomorrow you can come out a better person. Beautiful area for sure. This is a nice, nice um, build up of a sand bank right here that goes out. That channel that goes between those two markers there, but on either side, well, on the above side, is a sand bank. What's up, man? You good? All right, respect, man. Good to you, man. Magnificent beach for sure. Obviously, these hotels are not up to running capacity. They're used, some of them are used as quarantine hotels, so they do have a few people in them. Um, however, the one below, which was Half Moon, which is now um, the Turtle Beach, that is closed for sure. That has up its signs and it's by your tapes and stuff. Sea conditions here before this groin was dropped or before these outer catchments were placed. Sea conditions here were not that great for swimming, especially when I had a south coast swell going on. Not that it was um, not that it was always rough here, but it's always had its current and it's always been a little more turbulent than some of the other areas on the coastline. You can appreciate this is a very wind blown area, very much like Matsu Beach as well. Hope you all are having a good walk this morning. For those of you that are unable to make a walk in the morning or are unable to do so on soft sand, we dedicate this to you as we always do. You know, we think of you all. We think of all of those that are having a difficult time right now. Um, I extend my love and my best wishes to all of you if you are having a difficult time. And if you're not having a difficult time, you're most definitely getting all my love and my respect as well. So always thinking of you all. You all are my family. You all are my loved ones. Um, I try to every day extend that love and show it to everyone that I can, uh, whether it is here or anywhere that is in my life, anyone that I come in contact with. I try to send a sign of positiveness, a sign of love and a sign of care that makes my day a whole lot better. So sometimes people accept it. Sometimes people think that I'm um, a little bit strange, but however they are, I'm fine because I've extended my love. I extended my care. And that is what God has put me here for. So if I do that, I have also reaped a freedom that I'm not going to reap unless I do those things. So that is my life and that's how I enjoy it. This is a magnificent resort. Now this was a former section that was called Casarina. Those of you that will remember these trees here, these Casarina trees and the small beach that was in front. You'd also remember this place was at one time noted to have the best um, foliage and landscaping in the island. A lot of that has gone for the expansion, of course, but those of you that remember Casarina, remember that this won some Green Thumb Awards in the past. It was a magnificent hotel, as it is now, but very, very different to what it is now. Magnificent properties along here. There's no question this island has everything you could possibly want. If you want cam cam conditions and perfect snorkeling conditions, very placid sea conditions, you know the West Coast. If you want something a little more challenging, a little more action, okay, we'll call this the action course, especially as we are in the St. Lawrence Gap area, this is the area for you. If you want something to get away from it all and you want to escape life and you just want to be on your own and reflect, there are numerous rental properties on the east coast of the island. I have one up on my, um, you know, on my Facebook page, the beautiful sites of Barbados. Uh, I know those people personally and there are plenty other ones as well. So. You can run out of accommodations. Whatever you want, you can find here in Barbados. And as I always like to tell people, you come here and you find a friend, and the beauty is something, it's just like icing on the cake. The important part is you come here and find friendship and genuine love. I like to think we're the friendliest people in the world. 
Some people may not agree with that, but I am 100% in belief of that. All right, you'll see lots of sea erosion here. This is the Turtle Beach Hotel. Uh, this beach is just as definitely going through a heavy impact right now. The heavier seas with the higher tides associated this time of the year. However, remember in Ju July and August, we won't get this kind of swell coming in here in the south coast unless the system is passing to the north. So a lot of the sand that's moved off the shoreline will come back in, it will settle, it will level out, and it will be absolutely beautiful again, all the blues and turquoises. All right, you've done a pretty good walk with us this morning. That is a lovely stroll. We will continue this walk uh, next week. Not gonna go back to the south tomorrow. I have another plan for tomorrow, which I'm not gonna let the cat out the bag yet, but we will be doing another one for you coming next week on the south coast as well. And we'll continue to walk the south coast so you can see what you can look forward to. Remember, I put up a link to some beach shoes there. They're ones I would recommend. They're very, very comfortable, very, very good traction on them. If you're doing some walking, especially extended walking where you're gonna have to hit the roads and stuff, you're gonna need some shoes or some slippers. I would recommend shoes because sometimes you're gonna walking through the water where there's a lot of rocks and stuff as well too. So that's just my input, just my recommendation. And you know, to all of you all, I extend my love again to you all. And I hope that you all today will do your absolute best to be the best version of yourself. And if you bat up on hard times, make sure that those hard times are the best hard times you've ever had. You can do that, you know, no matter how bad things get, you can always find something positive to reflect on and always learn from the lessons that you're experiencing. We are given lessons to make us stronger, to let us grow. So just learn from them, grow from them, and then tomorrow when that comes again, or the day after when that comes again, or whenever that comes again, you will be much better able to deal with it. You will have tools that you can work with. You know, folks, from beautiful, beautiful island of Barbados, slightly under the influence of sargassum weed, makes no difference. What a beautiful, beautiful day it is. Thanks to you all gathering with me. My love and respect. Take care, be safe, and catch you later.